This week, we will use all of the resin we have to try to improve Tignati. We will start simply by showing you all of his stats. He has 235 EM, that much attack, his crit ratio. Honestly, not looking too bad. He doesn't need that much ER from what I know because I think his burst cost is 40, right? Yeah, so he doesn't need that much ER. When it comes to the weapon, he has R5 with the slingshot. Ugh, actually, the thing with his weapons is that I have noticed that he doesn't really have a lot of free-to-play options. Definitely none of the weapons that we have will be good for him. Not even the stringless. This weapon would be better. So we're probably gonna keep this one for now up until we get a banner with a 5 star weapon that we can pull for not really looking forward to pulling on the weapon banner but um <laughs> i guess this is what we're gonna do he's gonna stay with the slingshot artifacts right now he has two piece deep pool two piece gladiator i think for now i want to go for four piece deep wood since he is the only dentro character we're using right now but maybe at some point we will end up switching this artifact set to gilded and giving the deep wood do a support character for now he has the deep wood memories and this is probably where we're gonna focus on farming this is his flower i think i already showed this to you and i was really happy about getting the 28 percent crit damage his flower D don't i see that cocky smile on your face do not do not even say anything listen if we pretend that this says crit damage it's not a bad one then his sand Yep, he needs a lot of help, okay? I don't, I know. Oh, this is even better. Mm -hmm. 777, this is definitely a lucky number for us, I guess. And then a Kurdific circlet. Considering his stats, like his stats are not bad. So I'm like, how did we end up getting here from all of these artifacts? The artifacts are terrible. What are people recommending here? Oh, people were recommending Wanderer's Troop. That's interesting. I mean, I guess if you use him as a charge attack dps then maybe but for now we will focus on the deep wood memories he doesn't have any constellations and i already maxed out his talent 888 we will definitely ascend him one more time and probably crown some of his talents in the future but that is in the future right now we're just trying to do something like <laughs> he truly needs help so this is what we're gonna try to do i think i already have five condensed resins so we can just simply go to the domain and farm oh you know what i just realized we didn't do any damage comparison before we're gonna leave the domain after that please give me something good deep wood or actually i wouldn't mind some uh, of the gilded dreams anyway oh okay that's not a bad one no a physical why ah, it's so good <laughs> Why physical though? If it was a dendro, oh, I would be so happy. Hold on, we're gonna go, I guess, for Masanori. She's just, she's just there. Okay, I think we're just gonna do Tignati solo since this is going to be just our little beginner Tignati. Let's see his e skill. Can't see. 3,183. Now his charge attacks. 4,000, and then the little thingies, 6. I don't know. I would have to look at this at a slow motion when I edit. 2000, that was not a crit. It's just not critting. And the little thingies, I don't know what they're called. They're just hitting the barrier. Now the burst. 2200, I think? I hear everything. There's so many numbers, it's hard for me to see, but I think... 2200 was like the highest i don't think he's gonna have that big numbers without any reactions but i don't really want to test his reactions because oh he just did 5000 on his e skill like i don't even have all of the characters i want for the reactions that's why we're just testing him solo with the deep wood memories for now actually he doesn't even have the four piece deep wood memories but 
you know, we have done the damage test and we can just go back to the domain. I know exactly what type of team I want for Tinari and the reactions and all the builds, but for now, this is just basically what we have to do since we don't have all the characters and he is the only Dendro that we have on the team. And also these artifacts are not gonna go to waste because once we get some good deep wood memories, we can give them to a support that we're gonna build later. Yeah, I can even see right now that we're doing bigger numbers with all of these reactions. I don't know, I feel like I'm over explaining myself, but then I know for a fact that there's someone out there who's gonna be like, well, actually. So I feel like no matter what I say, it's still not gonna be good. So maybe I just should like do what I know I want to do and I know will work well and you're just gonna see the end result. But building a character usually involves building an entire team for them and the reactions and weapons and stuff like that. So, oh, and also practicing rotations. Hydro damage, not a good one though. Um, I mean, you know what? Hold on. I think that when I was building Fisher, I did say that we will take basically any artifacts that have two stats that we like and we do like energy recharge and crit rate. So I guess this is fine. For just beginner pieces, I'll take anything. Give me good artifacts. That is definitely the, sec the secret trick. You just gotta shoot the tree and you're gonna get good stuff like this. Like this. Anyway, I've been always very vocal about not caring about meta, so I, I genuinely don't care. I feel like as long as you have fun, it doesn't really matter. Of course, our goal is to beat the Spiral Abyss, and that is still very important. But I feel like you can beat Spiral Abyss and still have fun. You don't need to have like the best of the best artifacts, the best teams, only use meta characters and stuff like that. That is what I'm gonna... What the? What are these artifacts? Well, I want to have fun, but I'm not gonna have fun with this, okay? Game, just in case. I know I said I don't care about meta, but I still want good stuff. I've been farming the artifacts through the weekend a little bit, and I think I locked two artifacts. One of them was like a really good one from what I remember, but we will see everything at the end of the week. Let's see. Oh, killed it. Oh, wait, that's a really good one. EM. Oh, and the highest. Okay, maybe today is my artifact day. I don't know what's the next character we're gonna build because I really don't want to spam building every single one of them at once. But I also do want to build all of them pretty soon. Now I would like some deep wood memories. Also with double crit stats, I would not say no to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Healing bonus with good substats. Yeah, that, that is something that I'm used to. I'm really glad that this domain is relatively easy for us. I mean, we're not under leveled, but we just don't have good artifacts yet to fight domains. Two deep woods, not good. And also, no. I think I spoke too soon with the whole artifact luck. Yeah. Oh, two more. Ah, deep wood. No, no. With double crit stats. Okay, hell yeah. At least at the end we did get <laughs> one more good artifact. It's the sixth day of grinding artifacts, so that means we only have today and tomorrow to farm them. Or condensed resin we have right now, so gilded. No. And oh, very no. These are not good stuff. These are not even copium stuff, you know? Sometimes you just have like a copium artifact and you're like, mm, Okay, fine, fine. If I have nothing else, I'll put this on. Oh, no, stop it. Oh, oh. That's interesting. He put memories, please. Um... No. No! Okay, that is not a bad one. I feel like if the last stat crit rate or elemental mastery... It is a copium piece, but I did say that I want two good substats and I'll take the artifact. Maybe actually Cookie can get this. Another cryo! Why? I don't need it. I don't think I did a damage comparison, did I? Wait, let's go with Tignari solo. Kiss, E-skill. 
Oh, that was not a crit. Wait, I have a memory of doing that. Wait, did I do his? I'm so confused. Wait a sec. Give me a second. I'm gonna look at my recordings because I had like a glimpse. I had just a weird deja vu and I'm like, did I do it after all? Hold on. Oh, I did do it in fact. Well, so see you tomorrow where we will use all of the resin for that day and also probably 10 of the fragile resin and good thing is that passively we are farming stuff for a cookie it's the last day of farming artifacts for team nutty and also i guess just a warning maybe it's more for me than for you but <laughs> i have been changing my microphone settings the entire week so it's very possible that every clip sounds a little bit different i just can't get the settings right yet i need to really figure it out but usually it's just like a trial and error process says i remember when i was setting up my old microphone that was also a problem where i felt like in every video i sound a little bit different it's fine i'm trying my best i think i have three condensed resin and then we're gonna do the fragile resin oh okay and the right piece and not the right piece why is it defense uh, this is how all of my animal damage bonus goblets look like on my main account as well so i'm happy to see that it's not just my main account that's cursed with them <laughs> Defense, no, and defense. Okay. We first will look through all the artifacts we managed to get thanks to the weekly resin, and then we will use 10 more fragile. Deep with memories, please. Oh, I have a lot of flowers locked. Mine is really good. I'm probably not gonna get anything better than that. Here we have double crit stats. HP. Come on. Crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage. That is all I want. Yes. Crit rate, crit damage. Oh, wait. This is not a bad artifact. I like that we finally don't have to, you know, click confirm over here. That window doesn't pop out every time you level. Because that was so annoying to me. <laughs> okay, one more crit stat and I would be so happy. Oh. Mm hmm Let's compare to what we have. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's switch it now let's go to sands we have i don't think i got any em sands yeah so we can leave the one he has right now then show damage bonus from what i remember oh we only have a four star one which mm, nah offset we have huh this one both has em and crit damage so i think we're gonna go for an offset one already like without even leveling it oh that is a perfect stat attack presented. If it rolls great, then of course it rolled into the only stat that I don't want and I don't think it's useful for him. Roll into any other, please. No, <laughs> no. You do not want to know my wrath. I can guarantee you that. Okay, EM is fine, but can I get some crit damage and attack, please? And I was saying that this is not a bad goblet. And then we ended up with this. Yay. The one that we have essentially is better than what we had before. But it's just still not good. And a uh, circlet. He needs a crit damage one. Uh, that's That might be difficult. I don't think we got anything on set. Oh, wait, we did. Hmm. So a crit rate or an attack percentage as the last stat. Okay, EM. Um, it can be. It's fine. It's fine. But please roll into ER and EM now. No. Oh, very copium piece. Uh, flat it. It did not roll even once to ER or EM. But at least now we have a 4 B set, so... Let's look at his stats then. He, I think he has less attack than he had before, right? Or am I wrong? Okay, almost 50% crit rate. That's not bad. Lots of crit damage. A bit of ER. Okay. It's not looking too bad. Though we could definitely go for more attack percentage, I think. That we will do when, maybe when we get a better weapon for him. Oh, but when we get a better weapon for him, we're not gonna have any crit rate. And I do want some crit rate to at least crit with his E skill and burst sometimes. So let's use the fragile resin then and unfortunately not as satisfied with the way he is turning out as i was with um 
Oh my, what was her name? For sure. <laughs> no. No. Why is that a defense one? No. No. Nope. No. No. That might be something that we do already have a really good flower. Oh, wait, a crit rate circlet. We don't need... I think we prefer a crit damage circlet on Tignari, but this is not a bad one. Okay. Uh, this is also not bad. We some good pieces. So oh, not even the right set. Okay. And it's not that great. Good artifact. I see it. Um... By my imagination, I guess. God damn it, I got excited. I was like, oh my god, EM Sands on sets! Uh, yeah, and then I saw the substats. It can theoretically still be better than what we have, so... That's a good circlet, kind of. Not really, but like a little bit. Can we get crit damage ones, though? We've been getting crit rate. We have still four more fragile. Don't hurt me like that with double crit stats on a defense goblet. Okay. Two sands. We have a chance. Uh, very small one. Uh, no. Oh, okay. It's not on set, but it's a good one. Unless we would go for two-piece deep wood and two-piece gilded as a start. Please. Uh, I don't think the game is listening to me. Mm, no. <laughs> that is how I feel. This artifact really reflects that. Kinda disappointed, not gonna lie. We got this new one. Let's go for that EM Sands, I think. The one we have at least has two good substats that we like. This one only has one and it's not even that good. So let's just see what's the last one. A oh, flat HP. Yeah, no. <laughs> now that I think about it, like, maybe eventually I will not even go for a Gilded set for him maybe we will go for the wonders true but we're just gonna strong box but currently we just don't have enough artifacts to strong box that that's kind of the point and i don't want to waste the artifacts we have to do that so we could try to see what we could do with the wonders true also an important thing when it comes to tinari's teams is that i am going to avoid using characters that i use on my main account that's literally the whole point of this account that i want to play the game in ways that i haven't with characters that i haven't even touched yet so for example i'm not gonna put yaiviko on this account i'm a yaiviko main and i have played enough with her on my main account so she is out of option Fischl, on the other hand i haven't played much on my main account but we have to use Fischl on the second team well i mean wonder's troop wouldn't be so bad for the team i'm thinking of let's just see maybe we can Oh, that's a good artifact. Please. Hey, no. You rolled all of that into HP. Yikes. I don't know if I would even have enough artifacts to give him a, a Wonders Troop set. We could theoretically steal an artifact from Shin Cho because we are not using him at the moment. Oh, and a crit damage max roll? Wait. Oh. Oh, no. I have to use the... Ah, oh, fine, fine. Nothing? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we will end up trying to give him the... Oh, why? I hate me. Maybe we could go for the Wonders Troop set. I don't know. Wait, we do have some sands. Do I have a crit damage circlet? No. We could try the strong box, but also we don't have enough artifacts for the strong box. That's why I didn't want to go for the Wonders Troop yet. But I just don't want to end the episode without trying to improve him just as much as we possibly can. Ooh, we got a lot of circlets. Okay, one of them has to be a crit damage one. Let's just look at other artifacts as well. Maybe we'll end up getting something. Oh, that's a nice one. Please, a crit damage. One of them. Just one and I'll be so happy. No? Oh, what? If it was sands, I would be so happy. Oh, and then why? Why is this so good? I'll do the sacrifice. We can still farm the Gilded uh, Dream set domain. And that's not what I want. No. Okay, circlets, please. It doesn't have any crit stat, but it's okay. It's a crit damage on set. It's really not a good circlet, but it's on set. Our circlet, it's not even really good anyway. So <laughs> is it really that much of a downgrade? Can we throw something here, like a leveled artifact? Oh yeah, I can definitely throw this horrendous Dentro Dem bonus goblet. Please roll nicely all attack, percentage, and EM. Uh, I mean, theoretically, kind of rolled in what I wanted, but also not really. One last roll. 
Oh, mm, I don't know what to think about it. Stat-wise, we're very similar to how we were before. So at least we didn't downgrade. We only have a little bit more EM. So how about we just go with what we have with the Wonders Troop set? I think I did the damage solo, so that is probably what we're gonna do right now. Let's remove everyone. Oh, where am I going? Wanted to jump off the edge by accident. Here's a skill. Dead and crit. Let's see charged attacks. 5,000. Okay. Oh, no, don't, don't block. Let's see his E skill again. Actually, I don't know if that's more or less. He's doing 5,000 on the charged attack, though. I think at least that's better, but I also don't remember. 5,033. And then 1,687 on the little shooter thingy. So I don't know how to say this. And now his burst. Let's nip that in the butt. See, this is why I want more crit rate on him, because his E skill does do like pretty good numbers sometimes, especially when you have, you know, a whole team and you have the reactions. So it's not bad to have that 50% crit rate on him, at least. Well, okay. Uh, I think we will... Oh, I do see a lot of potential for improvement. I think that really getting a better weapon would make a difference, obviously having better artifact subsets as well but that we will focus on when we just have more artifacts in general so that we can strong box a little bit more this is such a disappointment looking at this like it, it could have been so good even though we probably did manage to improve dignity a little bit he's still very much at the beginning of his becoming better dps journey